To write the Lewis structure for Na2SO4, sodium sulfate, we need to recognize that sodium's a metal, and then S and O, those are nonmetals. So we have a metal bonded to a group of nonmetals. SO4 is a polyatomic ion. It's called the sulfate ion. So we have our metal bonded to our nonmetals. That's an ionic compound. In an ionic compound, valence electrons will be transferred from the metal to the nonmetals. So we write Na, and we'll put our other Na over here because the sulfate will go in the middle. And then we'll put our sulfate ion right between those two Na's. So we said in ionic compounds, the metal transfers valence electrons to the nonmetals. If you look on the periodic table, you'll see sodium is in group one. It has one valence electron. And it transferred that valence electron to the sulfate ion here. Because electrons are negative and sodium just lost a negative charge, it becomes positive. This sodium here too, it lost an electron to the sulfate it becomes positive. Since this SO4 here, it gained two electrons, and electrons are negative, it has a two minus charge. So we have these positive ions and this negative here, and they're attracted, and that's what forms that ionic bond. So the brackets, they show us that this is an ionic bond. That those electrons were transferred from the sodium. Sodium lost them, and the SO4, it gained them. You'll sometimes also see brackets around the metals. Note that this Lewis structure is what we call a formula unit for Na2SO4. An ionic compound is made up of a group of repeating formula units called a crystal. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for Na2SO4, sodium sulfate. Thanks for watching.